What's up, everyone? This is All Destroyer 229, and welcome to Let's Play Return of the Obra Din. An indie puzzle game that was developed by Lucas Pope and was originally released on PC in 2018 and was released on consoles about a couple weeks ago, actually. Now, I don't really know a whole lot about this game, but I have heard that this game is actually really good. It has a very cool art direction, kind of just black and white, very grainy, as well as being pretty in-depth for the story that it tries to tell. And it's been a while since I've played any sort of, like, you know, an indie game or an experimental game, so, you know, that was about as good as time as any to jump back into a type of game like this. So without further ado, let's begin! Uh, let's see, one of three save files, no fates solved. Interesting, so it actually keeps track of how many people that I know what happened? I don't know. All I've seen is a trailer for this that's on the eShop. So, let's begin. Lost at Sea, 1803. The good ship Oberdin. Built in 1796, London. 800 tons. 18 feet draught right. Captain R. Witterell. Crew of 51 men. Last voyage to Orient. Cape Rendezvous unmet. Contact East India... City? Oh, company. Contact East India Company London office for inquiries or testimony. The Honorable East India Company. Attention Chief Inspector, Insurance and Claims London office. The Overdin has returned. Dispatch to Falmouth immediately and prepare a full assessment. <coughs> Lovely. Hey, man, woke me up. Said you'd need ferry to the Obradin. Not many eager for that job. Seems a bit late if you ask. I didn't. <laughs> What's in the box? I don't know. Hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! How? Carefully. Okay, so I guess we're at the Obra Din. Alright. Um. There we go. Climb aboard. Alright. Sails seem pretty ripped. Okay, let's look around, I guess. Looks pretty trashed, actually. And again, that is kind of the reason that we're here. We're supposed to find out what exactly happened since this thing disappeared like four years ago. Oh my. Um, well, all right then. Guess I can zoom in with left trigger. Or just either of the left shoulder buttons. Nothing else really. I can apparently also zoom in by clicking the right stick. That's all I know so far. Oi! It's too heavy! Hmm? What is? Okay. Maybe I was supposed to interact with something on the boat down here. It's too heavy. Take it yourself or open it here. Ah! Okay. Journal.
ZR. Okay. Return of the Oberdin, a catalog of adventure and tragedy, 1807. Preface. I trust that you now find yourself aboard the Oberdin. I expected this day to come, and my every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale within the pages of this book. Regrettably, failing hell has allowed me to produce only the basic outline that follows. Your presence on the Oberdin is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first. All will make sense in time. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone on aboard. Complete each chapter accurately and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the details within, but I've elected to keep them private for now. Henry Evans. Okay, the journey, the ship, the crew, life at sea, glossary, and back cover. Oh God, there's a lot of pages of this. As well as the various chapters. Okay, the journey. Landing leg of the Far East route. Uh, looks like they set forth from England down to... They circle back over to Madrid? Hmm. Let's see. Plans for the Oprah Din. Oh! Okay, so I can actually see this in more detail. Okay. So it wasn't to Madrid. It was... Where was it? S to South Africa? Is that where it was supposed to go? Or... Huh, maybe. Let's see, so I can see where I am on the map. Uh, main deck, the gun deck, uh, all up deck, and the cargo hold. Okay. Crew. Interesting, okay, so I can see the name, uh, the rank, uh, their country of origin, as well as their fate. Okay, interesting. So there were 60 people on board, and it looks like this was everyone. Okay, so I apparently need to identify each person. And then that's how I can determine what exactly their fate was. Okay, I'm learning everything about this as I go. This is actually a lot more details. Uh, let's see. Life at Sea. Sketches of life on board the Oberdin. Okay, and I can get a little bit of a closer view as to each individual person. Got it. Loose cargo on the cargo deck. Okay, so I guess as things go about I can fill in the pages of these uh, chapters okay if it's C ah that okay so that's so then between the life at sea and the glossary is just the tale of what the hell happened all right glossary uh, Captain. Okay, so this can just basically tells me what each thing does. Okay, so Captain, pretty explanatory. Mate, officer or tradesman that supports and assists their superior. General mates help run the ship and serve the captain's request. Tradesmen mates serve their superior. The bosun, foreman in charge of the general crew operations. Gunner, purser, administrative official. Surgeon, Carpenter, Helsman. Okay, so if I really need to learn a bit more about these guys. Let's see. Table of contents is Y. That's a nice way to get back over there. And then X allows me to close the book. And the pocket watch. Memento Mortem. Remember death. Okay. The 
Doesn't look like there's anything else. So let's go ahead and climb aboard then. Okay, now that we've got that, let's... If it's remember death, then let's go ahead and head on over to the dead body. basically view this snapshot in time. Okay, nothing really here. So that's the captain. Completely murdering this fellow who had an axe. And that guy was with him. I can't head on over to the captain's quarters. Ah, okay. So... Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what exactly I'm supposed to be doing. Aside from maybe just identification? Okay, so... Waistcoat... Beard... Hmm. Okay, well, he was basically murdered by the captain. Cool. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know his name. Uh, let's see. What exactly was this guy? God, there's, there's so much to do and so much to basically... Ah. God, this is gonna be hard to try to discern everything. Then again, this is this is a puzzle game, and it's made by the same guy who made Papers, Please. And that game, oh boy, there's a lot of details with that game. Uh, I don't think he had like a... Hmm. Doesn't seem like there's anything else. Oh God. So I can only view the scene for a limited amount of time. The end. Close to the Canary Islands. Location of the corpse. Three others present. Who is this? How did they die? This person's face appears blurred throughout the book. This blurring indicates that you don't yet have sufficient information to, to determine their identity. Their fate may be known and can be entered now. Trying to name them while their face is blurred would be unproductive. Carry on and pay attention. Faces will become unblurred when the information necessary to identify them has been revealed in some way. Interesting. Okay, but I do know that he died. He was shot. Uh, let's see. Killed by a sword. Yeah, he was shot by a gun. By the captain. Because he went to go after the captain and the captain basically shot him. What's this? Memories where this person appears can be navigated from here. Oh, cool! I can go back to those. My soul appears in one memory. First memory, 125. Bookmark memories. Bookmark all memories where they appear for quicker navigation. Use the buttons at the top of the page to edit bookmarks and navigate between them. Okay, so first memory, 125, perished in the end, part one. Depicted in Justice at Sea sketch. Show memories on deck map. 
Okay. Captain. Okay, so that's just the transcript. Okay. Location of the corpse. So that's where we know that he is. He, well, he was. Three others. So he was shot. Hmm. Okay. So that guy was the one that got shot. Well, he's the captain, isn't he? This person pays face is no longer blurred, which means they can now be identified. Use the book and the pocket watch to gather enough information to deduce their identity. Revisit memories on the ship using the pocket watch to study relationships, appearances, and activities. Use the book maps, crew manifests, and artist sketches along with the individual conversation logs to find clues about this person. There are 60 people on the ship when it left England. Determining everyone's identity and fate will not be easy. Decisive information is rare. You will have to make assumptions using partial information. Ugh. Some identities may only be revealed through the process of elimination. Great! So like a really hard Sudoku puzzle. Good luck. Thanks, game. So this one's at least easy. He's the captain. That I've at least determined. That's the guy that he shot, and that was the guy that was with them. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely the guy that was with them. Uh, oh! Hey, a door! Does this take me out of the memory? Yes. Yes, it does. Okay. So, there's the fate of that poor soul. Uh, going in through here... I mean, there's any number of information. It's not necessarily just the dead bodies, I assume. Uh, but... Oh. Looks like I need to close... Um... There we go. Okay, the doors eventually close on their own. I mean, I assume I can find other pieces of information besides looking at dead bodies. That, I'm assuming, is the captain. There's another dead body over here. Okay, let's go with the captain. Or what I assume is the captain. Where are they? Must be in here someplace. They're at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be very much one of those like huge thinking games. Okay, so there's the guy that was shot. Um Okay, so it looks like the other guy got knifed. He got knifed in the throat, it looks like. Um, looks like someone else came in. Oh, that may be for this memory over here. Okay. Um, so that just takes me back. I mean, by looking around, is it? Yeah, it eventually just fills it in. That's weird that it's not immediate, but okay. Okay. So, I don't know who that person is, but I do know that he was knifed by the captain. Okay, where are they? Must be, they're at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. Okay, so he wanted to learn something from the captain. 
two others were present. I mean, there's the captain. And there's that guy that was outside. Unfortunately, he's still really blurry, so I have no idea who he is. And he isn't even part of the main scene. So that's about all I can really get from this. Is basically how that guy died. And that there was another person who wanted to come in. Probably an accomplice who snuck around the back. Alright. Locked. There's a knife. Okay, what about this poor fellow? Okay. So that guy was bleeding out. Looked like the captain hit him with a stick, and the captain got knifed. Along with a few other people. Well, there was someone who was sleeping here. Can't go in through that way. Is there anyone else around? look like it. Hmm. Other people are just lying dead. Cool. Not sure there's anything else more of the scene I can really examine. I can't head on into there. Fade, 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 fade. Okay, I no idea who he is. I mean, he was kind of clubbed, wasn't he? Froze, illness, knifed, poison shot, speared, spiked, struck, hooves, tail, wing. No, he wasn't struck by anything. He was basically clubbed by the captain. Wait, three memories? Where was he? Oh, so he was around the back area. Okay, so he, so he was there. As the other two were going in through the front door. Okay. Yeah, so he got bludgeoned by the captain. Uh, one of the knives got scattered over this way. There's the gun from earlier. Yeah, the captain got knifed, but he didn't die. At least immediately. Meanwhile, there's this person. Huh. Go back to the very beginning. So, the crew... Um... Bozum, surgeon, passengers... Oh, they're just regular passengers as well. Topman, seaman, and that's it. All right, then. So that explains that. Oh! The door opened up. Um, nothing really much back this way. But now this area is open. Oh. Okay.
Okay. Oh my goodness. Were they attacked by a Kraken? Jeez, okay. This was not what I expected to have happen. Oh my goodness. There's a lot going on here. There is a lot going on here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What is happening? I mean, obviously, I can see what's happening. But this- this person was dead in their bed! How? How? This is- this is definitely not the scene that I expected to see! Okay... Well then... That just... Changed spectacularly. The Doom. Close to the Canary Islands. The corpses move post mortem. Okay, so this woman was moved into the captain's corner and was the captain's wife. Okay, which explains why she was moved into the captain's quarter. So she wasn't sleeping, she was dead from this event. So I can identify who they are. Um, cook, gunner's mate. I mean, I guess their official title would be passenger. That's gotta be it. Unfortunately, there's even some people who... Oh, no, actually, no, that's just the general category. So if I know what their general category is... Oh, wait a minute! Witterell. If I go by last name... Abigail Hoscut Witterell. Okay. An unknown fate. Well, she's definitely dead. Crushed by... Rigging? Wait, what is... Oh, that just shows me what the last one was. Uh, let's see. Fell, froze, killed by the sword, shot, speared, strangled, struck. That's with an animal. She wasn't torn apart. I guess crushed by rigging. This may or may not be correct. Fates are validated in sets of three. Correctly identify at least three people and their fates to have the information typeset into the book. Okay, so I have to identify the fates of three people associated with it before it'll tell me if I'm right or not. Deduction ratings? Okay... So that's interesting. Huh. What the hell? What? Oh! Basically, a memory in a memory. Sort of. Um... What is happening? Interesting. This will show me. Oh. It 
tells me the person who died who wouldn't be on board anymore. Interesting. Okay, well, we've been going on for quite long enough, but I think we've got enough time to visit one more memory. And that's this person. Abigail. Your brother. My friend. I shot him. Dead. I'll be with you. Soon, my love. Please forgive me. For everything. Okay, so looks like the captain committed suicide afterwards. Your brother, my friend. But that could be any one of these three. Any one of these three guys could have been her brother. But, ooh, that's another thing. I don't know who the brother's name is because they would have a different last name. Ah, shoot. Okay, well, I definitely know how the captain died. That's definitive. And plus, I absolutely know for a fact that this is indeed Abigail. So, yay for confirmation. else was present. Let's see. Abigail, your brother, my friend, I shot him dead. I shot him! Okay, so Abigail's brother was the one who was shot. Okay, that is very good information to know. Uh, I do know that he committed suicide. By gun. Okay, so I've at least got that. No one else was present because everyone else was dead. That's where he died. And he just kind of slumped onto the ground. Okay, so I need to figure out who Abigail's brother is. And if I can do that... Oh, apparently I've got enough information. But do I? Oh! I think I do. Hoscut, I think, was her maiden name. Okay. So yeah, he shot his first mate. Well done. Three fates correct. Captain Robert Widow shot himself. The first mate was shot by the captain. And Abigail was crushed. Okay, I figured out the th fates of three people. Cool. Okay, so interesting. So I need to get the fates of three people correct, and then it will tell me that I am right. And there are 60 people total. Cool. And it doesn't even have to be within the same chapter as well, so that's also interesting. Well, with that... I think we're probably good to call it a day here. So, next time on Let's Play, Return of the Obra Dinn. We have only just begun to piece together what exactly happened here. What doesn't help is that we're starting pretty much at the end of the journey, so we're seeing the results of what happened. But slowly but surely, we'll be learning the fate of everyone else involved. There's apparently a massive Kraken attack that happened at some point. So there's going to be a lot of dead people from that. But we will see in due time just what exactly happened to everyone. Until next time, everyone. Take care.